Hey y'all, so today we are going to do a real quick uh, cheap DIY on the stamped books. I'm sure y'all have seen these books all over Pinterest, Instagram, so we're going to make some today. I've been wanting to make some for a long time and I finally have the supplies to make it. So let's get started. Okay, so the supplies that you're going to need is um, some ink pads, whatever colors that you would like. I actually picked up both of these in the Target dollar spot uh, for $3 each. Um, so I got both of these just because I might want to do different colors um, in the future whenever I make more of these. Um, I got these um, little letter stamps in the target dollar spot as well i believe for three dollars yes uh three dollars as well so i got those and then um next thing that i got is these three books um this first one i already ripped the cover off of um or the binding whatever you want to call it um these other two or all three of them i got from the dollar tree for a dollar each so this is going to make for a uh, real cheap DIY craft um, for home decor. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I already ripped the cover off of this one and the binding. Um, so I'm left with this on the front, but to me that is no big deal because um, I will actually be putting twine around all three of these books to keep them together. So let's get started on these other two. Okay, so um, like I said, now that we have this first book's binding and covers off, um, we're gonna do these other two books. Let me move all this out of the way. So what I did with this first book is I just took the front cover and you're just gonna just rip it off. Um, you have two different options like how to do this. Um, I've Feel like this is the easiest and quickest um, but you can uh, paint the covers um, I just feel like this is like I said quicker and easier you don't have to paint it and uh, this way I feel like it gives it kind of a rustic kind of farmhouse look um, like you see there and it'll look real nice um, when you put the stamping on the binding. Um, you can, if you want, you can rip off this first page so it doesn't have the title of the book and it'll just leave it with just most of the time uh, authors put like their dedicate this book to their family member or whatever. Um, you can rip off this first page. I'm going to leave it because this book is going to go... I believe on top we'll have to see or no this I think this one is the one that I got to put on top because all three of them are different sizes so yeah so this one will go on top so we're gonna do the same thing with this next book and just rip off this cover and the binding And then you're left with that. And then you'll just take this back cover and just rip it off. There you have it. So next we are going to do the stamping. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, 
I guess we'll leave it like that. Or, sorry, I'm trying to figure out which way. I guess we'll put it that way. Okay, so there is your three stacked books. You can do however many um, books that you would like. Um, I like doing um, at least two or three. Um, I haven't done any more than three. Um, but let's go ahead and get the stamping done and I'll show you that now. Okay, so for this one, um, I am going to do home on one book and then sweet and then home. Um, so I already have my letters picked out that I need. Um, of course, the other E is gonna be in home. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, so while using these stamps, you wanna make sure that it just gets on the letter part and not the edges of the stamp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rub it on the ink pad. And you don't wanna press too hard down um, just so it doesn't get on the edges. That's why I'm rubbing it instead. So once you have a good coat, then you will just stamp it on the book. Um, I completely forgot. I need to work backwards. Um, that way you can make sure that you have enough space at the end of the book. Um, so we're gonna start with the E on home. And I got a little bit on the edge there, but hopefully we can make it work correctly. And as you can tell, it is a little light. Um, I may have to go over this with some Sharpie, like a fine tip Sharpie. This is the first time using these ink pads. Um, so I don't know if maybe they're dried out or um, I just didn't get enough ink on them. So we'll try with the M next. Okay, so it looks like if you dab, you're going to get a little bit more ink on than rubbing. So we'll do that on the M. And that turned out a whole lot darker. So we'll just leave the E like that. Um, I think it kind of looks rustic-y looking. So we'll do the O next and just lightly dab it. Okay. There's the O. And now we'll do the M. Or the H, not the M. It's been a long day, y'all. <laughs> okay. And there's home. I may try, let's see. I'm gonna try and go over this E. It might not work out too well, but we'll try. And I got some, some marking. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, there we go. So I made it a little bit darker. And then next we'll go do sweet. 
So we'll need the E again. And we'll start out with the T first. And like I said, just dab it just a little bit, but not too hard so you don't get any excess ink around the letter. And we'll start off with this one. There's the T. And then we're just going to fast forward it through the rest of this and then I'll show y'all the finished product. Okay, so there you have it. There is the stacked books. Um, I just love the way that um, it looks ripping the cover off versus painting. And I've heard that if you paint, um, paint the covers of the book, uh, the little edges of the cover kind of start coming up. So I wanted to do it this way. I love how the binding looks on the books. And um, now we are going to just wrap some jute around it to just to keep them together. So let's do that now. Okay, so this is the jute that I'm using. Um, this jute I got at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 and I used my 40% off coupon. Um, so I'm going to use this and we'll just wrap it around these books and then it'll be done. Okay, so so I've seen some people do bows on it. I've seen some people just do a straight up just wrap around. And just tie a knot in the back. If I can get these together. Let's see. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this one steady. Okay, here we go. Making progress. It's just kind of hard to hold the twine and wrap at the same time. <laughs> okay, so I think that is pretty good. Let me move this down a little bit. And then I am just going to just tie a simple knot in this one at the side. Let's see. Okay. And then you can kind of just space out this twine a little bit. Um, you can even move it over to cover up a title that you don't want to see. Um, I have seen some people also um, put like little pics at the top, um, flowers, stuff like that. Let's see. Just 
kind of spread them out, give it a more cooler little vibe. And it'll cover up some of that title as well. And there you have it. Um, I will go show y'all um, real quick just how to style it if y'all wanted to. Um, so let's go do that now. Okay, so here you have it. Um, I just stuck a buffalo check pumpkin on it from the Target dollar spot. And you can hardly even tell what it says on the top. Um, turned out really cute, I love it. And like I said, it is a real um, easy, quick DIY that doesn't cost a whole lot of money. And uh, the personalization on this is, um, I mean, you could do anything on this. You could do, uh, your family's name, uh, date of birth, anniversary, um, you could use this for Mother's Day, birthdays, uh, baby showers, weddings, anything. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed this DIY. If you liked it, give, um, give us a big thumbs up. Just let us know that y'all want to keep seeing more of these. If y'all haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. And we will see y'all next time. Bye.